Let's say we have two directions, A and B. We can find the cross product of these vectors by calling vector3 cross, using both A and B as inputs. The cross product will always be perpendicular to both vectors. A quick way to mentally work out the cross product is by using the left hand rule. If you point your thumb and index finger in the directions of A and B, your FU finger will be equal to the cross product. Vector3 cross has a wide range of practical uses in engineering and game dev. But let's just use the simple example of rolling a cube. Assume the user pressed down. We need to work out the correct rotational axis to perform the roll. Vector3 cross gives us an easy way to calculate this. For our second input, we'll use Vector3 up. This will be our constant to ensure the cube rolls correctly regardless of direction or current cube rotation. For the first input, we'll use the direction of the user input, so in our case, Vector3 back. The cross product will always be perpendicular to both inputs, which gives us a direction pointing down the x-axis. Now we know we need to rotate our cube on the x-axis. So to summarize, if you know up and you know which direction you'd like to rotate, it's easy to work out the rotational axis using the cross product. Alright, I hope you found this fun and informative. Subscribe if I made you stick your left hand in the air like a doofus, or if you'd just like to see more of these fun little visualizations, subscribe anyway. Alright, see you later.